All right, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Uh, we're going to check out this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth State of Play. Um, I'm a little scared, chat. I'm going to be real because I don't want to get spoiled. Like, I legit don't want to get spoiled, you know? I'd rather just, like, <clears throat> I'd rather just play the game, and when I play the game, see what's going to happen in said game. But you already know what it is, man. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is coming soon. Um, if you guys don't know about this game, it, it's basically like a reimagining of the Final Fantasy VII story. I know they call it Final Fantasy VII Remake, and some of you guys who saw it get pushed as such were upset when they noticed that the story actually deviated from the original story. Regardless of all of that, the game has fantastic action. The action is great. The controls are great. The score is amazing. Graphics, like, I mean, come on now. Like, to see all these characters in high definition, right? It's something to marvel at. So I'm very much excited because we're already here in February, Black History Month. And at the end of the month, February 29th, 2024, is that, does that mean we're in a leap year? I'm not too sure. Let me know. But if we are... Regardless, this is the sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake, the second uh, planned game in a trilogy of the um, games that are basically reimagining the 1997 PlayStation classic Final Fantasy VII, one of the greatest uh, 3D like turn-based RPGs ever made. One of the first like m games that really gave us like a movie experience when you think about like the 3D era, right? Because I remember when it came to Final Fantasy VII, <clears throat> there were a lot of people at Square that were basically getting supported by Sony to come out with a banger experience that would be something akin to playing an interactive movie, you know? Like, you're actually playing, it, like, in terms of the fact that the game gives you movie-like experience when you're playing. And when you look back at the game, you could tell it was very ambitious, right? Like... The visuals for a 32-bit game were quite, quite, quite astounding. But I'm yapping at this point. Let's get to the trailer, see what's up with Cloud and Crew. Um, we obviously know the story for the original, but who knows where they're going to go with this one. I'm a bit afraid because when it came to Kingdom Hearts 3 and Square's previews, they showed way too much. I'm just going to keep it real with you, Square. Love you guys, but man, when I saw those Kingdom Hearts 3 commercials and previews, even when I went to Tokyo Game Show, I believe, uh, back then, before a release of Kingdom Hearts 3, all over, I kept seeing trailers, and I remember I was doing an IRL stream, and chat was like, D1, look away, <laughs> look away, and I just had to keep averting my gaze everywhere I went, but here it is, I heard that at the end of this, we're going to be getting a demo. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, trailer, State of Play, the follow-up off of the last week's State of Play that we watched together, um, which ended with, what was it? Uh, my brain, it was loading, 56K. Um, it's not FedEx Simulator or Amazon Employee Simulator. I can't believe I forgot the name. Uh, Guillermo del Toro, I can't believe. I forgot. Sorry, Kojima. We're just going to say Amazon Employee Simulator. It starts with a D. Death Stranding. There you go. All right. Sorry. Anyway, um, I think that's enough of a preface. If you guys uh, like the content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to get right into it. <clears throat> that was a little loud. We're going to lower my volume. What happened to Ooh. this place? Okay. It was Sephiroth. He wants to of finish course. what he started and rule over the planet. We have to help them. You already hear the music. It's banger. Way ahead of you. Yuffie's in the building. Work. Yikes. I will reclaim. I saw the world. snake. Hey, yeah. All right, we're done. I'm just kidding. Hello, ファイナルファンタジー 
、まあ、こう都市ミッドラルの外にある広大な世界へと足を踏み出すところから物語が始まります。今回のステートプレイではこのゲームの魅力を凝縮した最初のプレイを特別なゲーム紹介映像をご用意しています。また重要なお知らせがありますのでぜひ番組の最後までお付き合いください。それではどうぞ。Alright, let's do it. So what do they have for us? Are they gonna show like gameplay improvements? Cloud, bring me the black material. Uh oh. Yo. Remember these dudes? The Turks, right? I'm not picking my nose. The celebration of the faith. A watershed moment for all mankind. Damn, that looks good. Hey, kids, sorry we're late. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Don't show me no cutscenes. Show me. Yeah. Oh! The music sounds sick. The battles are beautiful. I remember you. Now, who wants to be、Dude. the first lucky lady? Hey, boss! Your guests are here! So, we're gonna actually enjoy the park, <laughs> the amusement park this time. At long last, the day returns. Yo. I refuse to be upstaged a second time, my friend! Oof. Uh oh. Very good. Fill your hollow heart with rage. The world will be saved, but will you? This is the most interesting part to me. Zach is clearly still here, chat. I'm back now, Aerith. Yup. I'm back. She probably won't go anywhere either. I'm an Aerith fan. I don't、We、want to see her leave. That you retrieve it. I'm gonna keep、the、it real. The black materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Huh? Passing through. Hold up. You. Tifa. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. We're <laughs> getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Look at my boy Barrett. How do we look? The fits. <laughs> <clears throat> Looking. You should get <laughs> respectfully. Yourself a reading. Dude, it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Damn, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. We get to actually enjoy these guys, dude. Hold this thing over right now. More character development. Sephiroth is your foe. Vince, I have a history with him. You wouldn't believe what he did. Please give him more airtime. Give Vincent more airtime, please. That guy looks cool, dude. Wait, don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. Sid,、so、when you're ready, I'll be here. An emissary from Wu Tai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru.、Hmm? With all this goddamn blood on my hands. How could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, was that those we love, love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Sephiroth, hey! Oh oh. No, not you. <laughs> the voice acting. Yeah. Take it. That felt almost classic. This isn't about me, though. What? It's about saving the world and you. The reunion, when spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! Where's Aerith in that cutscene? She better not disappear, chat. I didn't. I saw a significant lack of Aerith on that rock. I'm worried. Wait, is this over? On two discs. 皆さんこんにちは、so. ファイナルファンタジー7リバースディレクターの浜口直樹です浜口さんトレーラーはいかがでしたでしょうか yeah, yeah, ここからは本作がどのようなゲームなのか私から皆様にご紹介していきたいと思いますおはい。
or maybe I'm I don't. I'm waiting, Cloud. Oh. Damn. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, mm -hmm. Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Yep. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. Mm -hmm. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. A vast world. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. Jeez. Oh the my. world is made up of multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. <laughs> the grasslands. <laughs> located due south of God, Midgar, that looks this beautiful. is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. Damn. The Junon region. Wow, wow, wow. Where a metropolis wow. by the same name overlooks the ocean. So a symbol of Shinra's the... military might. Goodness, I can't even. The Karel region. Wow. The resort <laughs> town of Costa del Sol oh my adorns its dude, northern really? shore. While the gold saucer Monster stands as too. a gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. The gold, the gold saucer, dude. Here we the go. The Gongaga region. Gongaga. Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown. Mm -hmm. Or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. Jeez, dude, that's so big. The Cosmo Canyon region. They better have a good track for Become this. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. I love the music for Cosmo Canyon. They should have played it. They're going to save it. Don't the spoil. Nibel region. Nibel, I thought it was Nibel. Nibel. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa. Or stop by Shinra Manor, where Vincent rests in peace. Here we go. Your adventure will even extend to the high seas. Oh, Nibel region, not Nibelheim? Nibelheim? There's more to do than they simply walk around, wow. however. I remember the, the First, young lad. let's look at world intel. Assisting Chadley with his research and his understanding of the world. That's his name. Allowing him to develop new materia. Okay. This research takes many forms, such as wrangling chocobos or playing with the mooglets at their mog stools. Mooglet. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities. These are these battles were so fun. Or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. What the? Chadley what? will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto relics. Throwback. Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters. Exciting new mini games and ferocious creatures. Don't spoil too Are you much up for the challenge. God, man. And once you recover all the proto relics okay. scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. Okay. Next, let's talk about odd jobs. Side quests, got it. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world yeah. and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his travels mm -hmm. and team up with his pals to solve their troubles. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bond Froggy. between him and his comrades. Comrades. Each comrades. one of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, Johnny, are aspects name. from the original FF7 while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. Mm -hmm. You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. I'm gonna be busy and playing don't this game. worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. Beautiful. You can always go back to tie up loose ends. And this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. Yeah, I like games like that. Stop locking while me out of content. While some mini games are tied to world intel and odd jobs, Many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, yep. such as 3D Brawler, G-Bike, and Chocobo Racing <laughs> are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. Nice, and it looks good. Others improve upon their remake versions, while still more are completely new to Rebirth. Gold Saucer minigame. We've even fleshed out some of the minigames that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII's main scenario. I was thinking of Wave Race just now. Wave Race 64, good old days. Though this one is not in the original, I highly suggest oh. you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. What? Card no game? matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. 
Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. No! <laughs> I don't want to play no cards. He's card planning games. to use the black materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped. Cinematic storytelling. That's a good way to say it. And I'm the last. While mini games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. It's a movie, man. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience with even higher quality content and more of it than Remake. Two discs. <laughs> this installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar, up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. Aerith at the Grammys, dude. Damn. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey. One that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by graphics? They might make Rebirth makes full use of the PlayStation 5 and its SSD. Meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake. And they will still load in the blink of an eye. That looks so good, man. I'm, I'm looking at that Buster Sword all day while he's Maintain running. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Okay. Damn, easy dodge. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. With frame rate drops. Whichever you prefer. Rebirth has you covered. Each character interacts with the world in their own way. Really? Barrett shoots oh, objects. It's true. Yuffie oh. swings across gaps. Nice. She has a hook shot. What do you Tifa do? has her grappling gun. Okay. Red can climb along walls. Cool. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. Oh, it's Kate Sith. How would I have known that? And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Oh, wow. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. What about Zack? What does Zack do? How come you ain't telling me what Zack does? Now for the music. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks. Good. But also but. challenge ourselves by oh, matching ourselves. the feeling of each scene. Okay, when I heard Which but, resulted I in some truly innovative arrangements. Bro, better fits like, than for Street example, Fighter 6. Following. <laughs> Damn. Yes, sir. How is that? Nice. If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well good. over 400 new tracks for this game. Uh -huh. So there's plenty more where that came from. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. Hell yeah, brother. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Mm -hmm. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. The choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades oh, feel towards Cloud. Feel, okay. Persona. I made that promise to you. These feelings affect wow. who will join you on a date in a gold saucer. Whoa, it's like boulders. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. Wow, like Persona even. In fact, and even Blood. allies who weren't available in the original FF7 what? can now accompany you, provided what? you play your cards right. What? Just don't spoil. The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. New party members, never before seen. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Wow, dude. So missable party members, apparently. Crazy. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. Crazy. Your companions will share a bond not only with Cloud, mm -hmm. but with each other as well. Nice. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. Mm -hmm. I'm going to accompany you. Damn, look at the, the higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, okay. a mechanic new to rebirth. Folio. By unlocking the skills etched in these tones, your characters will grow stronger 
and learn new synergy commands. No, no disrespect, but this is just a skill tree, right? Like, yeah, I think like part this is the of first what makes time. Rebirth's combat so fun <laughs> is all the different character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or even your mood. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands. Mm -hmm. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. I like seeing that it incentivizes people and to try different parties. don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. Nice. Reminds me of when I was playing Super Mario RPG. I kept swapping With different characters. With new characters and synergy commands at your disposal, Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. Oh, I bet. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5. All right, we're done. Good job. No more. いかがだったでしょうか。広大な世界で描かれるクラウド達の物語にどうぞご期待ください。最後になりましたが、皆様に重要なお知らせがあります。行くプレイデモナウ。本日より、ファイナルファンタジー7にはその先行してプレイしてい
and catch you guys later. And follow the stream at twitch.tv slash xzonx. That's where I stream most of the time. I actually do more streaming than uh, YouTube videos. But we're, we're doing our best. Also, catch me on uh, TikTok at xzonx underscore because some loser somehow stole xzonx on TikTok. Give me my username back. Hopefully, it becomes like more inactive so I could actually ask for it. But anyway, I'm going to catch you guys. Peace.